so we are going to create the internal volume of this bottle. Uh, the first thing that we, we need to do is place a plane which in intersects the bottle around the uh, position of the liquid. So I'm going to use my control on the top plane, control and drag to position a plane approximately there, but then specify the value to be about uh, to be 45 millimeters. After this, we're going to use uh, probably a tool that's not commonly used by most is the intersect tool. So using the intersect, we're able to use either a plane, a surface, or a body for selection. That's so we're going to select the plane that we just created and the bottle body. Now, if I hit the intersect, what it will do is it'll create a volume underneath that plane but within the, con the confines of the bottle and that there's where we're going to get our volume from. So once the intersect does its thing you'll see it leaves us with three regions. Now region one and two are the outside of the bottle because it's also split the bottle in two but that's not the, the bits that we're worried about. We're only worried about the internal volume which is this region one. So this is the only one that I want to keep so I'm just going to select region one and just invert the selection and then simply accept that. So it will leave us with just the internal volume of the bottle. And once it's done so, you'll notice it here, I can just hide my planes a second and we can then we can then do mass properties on it. So using the evaluate mass properties, you can see we now have the mass of the bottle, volume, uh, surface area and even the center of the mass, but mainly the volume would be the, the main one for this. So we can predict how much liquid can be stored in the bottle.